Oh, we just hooked one right here. We just got one right now. We just got one. Hit right on the shore too. I saw that. I saw that. I don't mean, little, little guy. Not too big, but he's still putting up a good fight. Oh, look at this. Hybrids. In December. Oh, we were just talking about it too. Bam. On the line. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, post a picture for Too Perfect. <laughs> he just <laughs> saw me and he's like, yeah. post a picture. So here it is. Wow, look at that. There it is. Nice. Oh, let me do this. Let me do this. <laughs> Hold up. What's up guys, this is Connery from Out of Work Outdoors and today I wanted to show uh, one of our soft baits that we really like using during the winter cold months and especially at like Sooner Lake or some of the other dams, well, especially during the winter time when it's really shut down and shallower water and uh, the fish are just not super active and you know they're there but they just don't want to bite. So this is a sluggo and it works really good in those conditions. I'm just going to show you guys how we've uh, rigged them before. And usually when you're casting something like this, uh, you want maybe like a seven, seven and a half foot medium action, not not a medium heavy, because you need something that's got a, a really almost like a nice bow in it so you can flip these guys out. They're not super heavy, so that's the reason why. And they you gotta fish them like a jerk bait, so that's one of the main uh, uh, reasons why these uh, work during the winter. And stripers really love them, black or white, and usually we like the white. And all the western the eastern and western uh, coats, uh, those guys like the pink, but for us, we really, really just like the, the, the plain white. I mean, the regular white one, and it seems to work very well. So I'll show you the ways uh, we usually rig them. Like, uh, this is a way uh, that not a lot of people do, but we do sometimes. It's just you know, plain old, you know, wacky rig. That's it. Right there, wacky rig hook with a, uh, with a weedless barb. On it. And for, if you haven't figured it out, that's like the easiest one. You basically take this and you hook it right on the belly, right in the middle of this logo. And that's it. Bam. Duh. You know, tie your favorite knot on there. Right? Tie your favorite knot and just throw it out. Nothing special. Tie your favorite knot, throw it out. And it. I like to fish it weightless. A lot of times, I fish it weightless. It just, it just gives the fish more time to kind of analyze, and then they'll take it. Uh, the second way is, I think the most popular way is, uh, people use these offset hooks or any type of a worm hook. I, I put this in the worm hook category, and I especially like the ones where the little cork screws on it. But pay attention to the to the way the hook is designed. This way, you can have a lot more of a gap here. Um, the bigger the gap, in my opinion, the better, but at the same time, you do want to match it up with the, uh, the sluggo, though. Don't go too big, and you still want to stay in front of these, uh, cuts right here. So let me just show you guys how I do that. And probably the easiest way to do it, just kind of hold this quick screw just like that. Just like that. The camera's not focusing. Okay, just like that. Hold the head. And yeah, just hold the head, just thread it right on. I usually hold the head and thread the hook. It tends to go in a little bit straighter. I mean, that's what I've been used to doing. Hold the fish's head straight, thread it in, just like that. And just stop right there, because that you can't really go beyond that. So keep it like that. And as I like I said, keep it in front still. So wherever the hook lines up to, pinch it right there. Feed it from the bottom. Feed it straight up, and it just sits like this. Yeah, see, just like that. 
And if you must, you can twist it one more time because you do want a straight body or a straight head. So either that, you can straighten that out or you just pull it back out and go a little bit farther down. Probably go a little bit farther down is probably going to work out better. There you go. Actually, you still need to go a little bit farther down. So now you're right into the... Okay, so maybe we should have done that. Go back. Just twist one more time. There you go. And keep it, this is this backside, keep it where it's supposed to be. Do it again. There you go. Straight up and over. And bam, there you go. See, that's what you want. You want the head to be straight. And like I said, jerk bait style. Uh, it's a weighted worm hook. That's what I call it. It's a Gamagatsu weighted super line. SPR lock is what it's called. And with this, it'll dive very fast. So you want to cast out, then dive to the bottom, and just quickly kind of jerk it up sideways, left. You know, do it very, very sporadic moves. That's what really helps the slug was out. That's one way. And probably my favorite way of all time has been this one. We call it the swim rig because... There's no real official way or official name for it. So you take any hook you want, appropriate size hook for you, for your fish that you're targeting. Basically, a circle style hook. And you make your own corkscrew. You can buy them and put them on. And basically, you just thread it right on. So take this, thread it right into the front of the hook, or in front of the uh, lure. And this is like I say, this is my favorite way to fish these uh, these logos, because it doesn't rip the lure, because the hook is outside the uh, the lure's body, and it just looks just like that. It looks just like that, and this way it's completely weedless. I mean, not weedless, but it's completely flexible. So when you're twitching it through the water, it's way way more. Uh, erratic or it's unpredictable where it's going to go as where this one and this one you can pretty much predict like I mean these two you can pretty much predict how it's going to swim uh, up and down a little sideways action a little bit but it's still going to be fairly coming straight at you on this one there's a good chance every time you twitch it it'll go it'll do something like this where it'll turn completely and sometimes it might even go backwards as you're retrieving it in. so those are the top three ways to rig a sluggo from out of work outdoors and give it a try if you haven't tried any one of these and uh pretty sure you gotta get some good luck out there all right guys check you out next time Hey, if you watch this far already, I'm pretty sure you like what you've just seen, so please be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. If you have any pictures you'd like to share with us, please post them up on our Facebook page or tag us on Instagram.